Hmm. I wonder if there's anything interesting on the radio today. Let's have a listen. Hmm, nothing yet. Oh, this sounds interesting. Ricky, go to your bed in your house. This is it's my me. house. Yes. Which house is my house then? Over modulating the a bit. The one down the road, Ricky, is so whacked out with drugs and no sleep, you don't even know what you're doing. Oh, okay, then I'll just go to my house then. And here it is. And this is on right now. And it's actually transmitting. I cannot believe this. Now, those of you who've seen the previous videos may notice that the coil is now bigger. I tried several different coils in this one, and, well, it didn't take me long to find one that worked. Here's the setup. I have my knackered PSP as the audio source, a 9 volt battery to power the thing, a 5 volt voltage regulator chip, and of course the transmitter itself. And of course over here I've got a radio which I've got tuned to the frequency it's giving out. So. Let's see if this thing works. Well, I know it works, but give you a little demonstration. But I'm going to play the thing on the PSP now, and you'll hear it come through onto the radio that I've got in here. Just turn that up a bit. Yep, no tricks here. I'll just hold the PSP up to the camera's microphone. Can you hear that? The microphone is behind the screen. Really weird place to put a microphone. And I'll just put this back in. There's another radio station. There's my thing. Oh, what on earth is that? So, glad I found out what kind of coil to use. 0.5mm wire, 6 to 8 turns, 6mm diameter. Do you know, if I touch the coil on this thing, the strangest thing happens. I'm just going to stroke it with this pre-burnt match, and the radio makes the weirdest noise. Listen. Actually, I'll just turn the radio up because it doesn't play that very loud. Can you hear that? Microphonic coil. Well, there we go. It works. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's just not a good enough word to describe how I feel about this right now. Now I'm going to try to make a wireless microphone thing out of this. The input on this is pretty sensitive, but nowhere near sensitive enough for a microphone, so I'm going to build a separate preamplifier for that. And I might make a video about that when that's done. So, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>